for once, Fedora Linux actually did something good for the user. And this is not a video about H.264 support. So don't get your hopes up. Or maybe do, because it means I don't have to talk about it again. So a few weeks back, I did a video about the really weird way that Fedora handles flat packs. They have the Fedora Flatpak repo, which is a completely custom repo generated from Fedora RPMs. So everything in that repo is guaranteed to be FOSS and guaranteed to be in line with the Fedora distribution guidelines and also receive the same level of support as any other piece of software on Fedora. But the other thing they have that isn't enabled by default is the Fedora Flathub selection. This has been available to enable since Fedora 35, but has been disabled by default. But as the name might suggest, it's not actually Flathub. What it actually is, is Flathub with a whitelist of accepted applications. And that whitelist was incredibly short, but absolutely wouldn't include applications that already exist in the Fedora Flatpak repo, which I can totally understand, but also applications that will cause a legal issue for Fedora. Now, what do they mean by legal issue? How would an application stored in a third-party repo cause a legal issue for Fedora? Nobody knows, because Fedora never explains things like this. So the idea has really never made sense, but Fedora will be Fedora. But now, they don't need to explain it anymore, because as of Fedora 38, things are going to be changing. Unfiltered Flathub is approved to be provided as a third-party repo you can enable in Fedora 38. In the next release, if you enable Flathub as a third-party repo, you'll get everything on Flathub and not just the Fedora Flatpaks. To clarify the change, for Fedora 38, if you enable Flathub as a third-party repo, you now get everything on Flathub, not just a curated set. Of course, many applications are available in the Fedora Flatpak repo too. I wouldn't say many, but sure, we'll use your term. But if I'm being completely honest, I'm really surprised this actually happened. So this was supposed to happen with Fedora 37, but when it got voted on, it got rejected. And I was under the assumption it was still going to be rejected again. I don't know where all the people who were against this actually went. Maybe they just didn't realize the voting was happening because the voting went really smoothly. Change. Unfiltered Flathub. Fedora Workstation's existing third-party repo feature allows users to enable a selection of software repos that are hosted by external organizations. This selection has included a filtered version of Flathub since Fedora 35, which provides access to a small number of Flathub apps. This change would remove the filtering from our Flathub offering so that users can enable a complete version of Flathub using the third-party repositories feature. Now, this is just the third-party repositories feature in their interface. You can always go and enable it manually through the Flatpak application. In the graphical software manager app, Flathub packages will only be selected by default when no Fedora package is available. I'll get more into the priority in just a bit, but as we can see from the voting, Firstly, not many people voted, but secondly, this is the only person against it. And they're not even against it based on the merits of Flathub itself. While I like that more software will be easily available for Fedora, I very much disagree with the double standard that's being applied with respect to other software sources like RPM Fusion that provide similar and often less objectionable from both a legal and technical standpoint. What this less objectionable means, I don't know because they don't explain themselves, but they're fine with Flathub being here, they just want this to be applied consistently across everything Fedora is doing. Now the voting was being done by FESCO, the Fedora Engineering Steering Committee. 
one person here didn't even read that part and just voted anyway, so they got ignored. But even with that there, everybody else was in favour of it, so it passed. No issue whatsoever. For the user, I can only say that this is a good thing. Anybody who went into the interface to enable FlatHub expected FlatHub to be enabled, not the Fedora FlatHub selection. It used to be a lot worse because Fedora FlatHub selection wasn't a thing. They just called it FlatHub, so there was literally zero indication except for the fact that applications were missing. And the whole Fedora FlatHub selection just led to confusion. I have seen countless people out there not knowing why applications they know are on FlatHub were not appearing in Fedora, and the entire reason was the whitelist. And considering that the legal issues, the legal challenges of having Fedora toggleable inside of an interface apparently are just not real anymore, there's not even an issue for Fedora itself. There was no benefit to Fedora not having the regular version of FlatHub just to be toggleable. So doing this is a good thing all around. Good thing for the user, good thing for the distro, it's a good thing for everyone, and that's great. Now, this doesn't change anything with the Fedora Flatpak repo. If an application is in the Fedora Flatpak repo, it's still going to be in the Fedora Flatpak repo. That's going to be continuing on exactly the same way it was before. So if for whatever reason you don't want to install anything from it or you don't like it, just go and disable it like you probably always were doing. And you may actually want to do so due to the really weird way that repo priority is going to work. So I briefly mentioned it, but this matrix gives you a much better example. So if everything is available, a Fedora Flatpak, an RPM, and a FlatHub Flatpak, the Fedora Flatpak is always going to take priority. If the Fedora Flatpak is not available, RPM will take priority, and if only a FlatHub Flatpak is available, that will take priority. Now, this is only the case when installing software through the software app center, whatever it's called. So if you want to install stuff from the repo you want to install from, use the Flatpak application directly. And as probably should be obvious, if you go down that method, the RPMs will not be available. But the short version is Fedora Flatpak first, RPM, and then FlatHub Flatpak. But that's just the default. If you do like using the GUI application center and you want to install it from a different source, you can select the other sources. So let me know. Are you a Fedora user? And if you do use Fedora, do you actually use Flatpaks and go out of your way to properly enable FlatHub and are happy to see this change? Or do you not use Fedora and are just curious what's happening on the distro? Let me know in the comment section down below. So if you like this video, go and like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe, simply bro pay linked in the description down below. That's going to be it for me and I'm out.